Howdy viewers, welcome to another game with the Casual Pro Gamer. Today we're doing SAS Zombie Assault Tower Defense and unfortunately the live commentary kind of derped and was lost to us. So we are going to play Touchdown here. Touchdown is a relatively easy map. Um, yeah, I kind of played it before this because, well, Ninja Key we derped that time. So yeah, it was a really hard way to do this. Um, we're going to place one tower over here, one tower a little bit lower to defend both of the entrances. And here comes a little trick. Uh, it's only the first wave that you actually need to defend. Don't build this third one. Anyway, uh, you will see the trick in a little bit. Um, I found it out myself. I don't know if anyone knows this, but I am, am assuming that people know that this exists. So um, yeah, we're fortunately not going to lose anything but uh, we're going to place one of the SIS guys over there and then all of the, the zombies will actually go for him. So we're going to build two, we're going to build one up top as well because the ones that actually are set to go to the really top part of the lane they will not see that bottom one. So and now all of them will just go into that middle part and as you can see it is quite easy to take them down. So um, yeah, I was really having a good time playing this because it is so easy. Now it's just a matter of upgrading your towers. You can actually uh, do this a little bit better by building different towers and not building that, uh, well, the third tower I built. Because yeah, that one is, the one I selected now is pretty much in a completely wrong position. And yeah, as you can see, all of them just go for that. And we will lose some lives eventually because the bloaters will actually spawn some guys that will not go for these, uh, for these marine guys. And because of that, I will lose a few lives, but it is all good. It is pretty easy still to, uh, to get this going. Uh, this is a 10 minute, I believe, uh, playthrough on this level. So really the first time I seriously tried it, the first one I just tried it out. And as I said, Ninja, Ninja Kiwi derped because halfway through the playthrough, uh, I actually got the request to, um, to re-log. So log in, even though I was already logged in, I mean, can't really play this game unless you're logged in because then it will not save the, well, you can play it, but it will not save the overall money that you get. And obviously that was, um, yeah, that was saved. So there you go. Oh, I didn't actually lose there, but I may actually lose some there. I don't know. I thought I lost some lives, but anyhow, it doesn't matter. So it would be useful to have a few sandbags just walling off that, uh, that exit on both top and bottom, uh, just to make sure that nothing gets through that. Uh, keep in mind that they will go for those sandbags, so uh, they will try to destroy them. Obviously, once you have high enough turrets, it doesn't matter anymore. Because you will shoot them down before they can actually kill the sandbags. And because of that, you will have, well, still a pretty, pretty easy playthrough. But for now, we're not going to wall off anything. We're just going to sit back, chillax, and um, just let everything just get killed. Because none of these guys are ranged, so um, it is pretty easy to mow them down when they come by. So as you can see, building this special turret, I actually, the first time I played this, I didn't know whether I could actually use a special turret because of the huge gap between the two uh, exits. But because they are all so attracted to that, um, that middle part when you place some of the, um, the marines there, yeah, it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to uh, wall off little parts of the exit um, yeah and that's that's about it that's about all I um, I need to wall off um, the shadows coming by the shadows will go for the middle part I don't know why uh, are they maybe they're attracted to those guys as well but yeah they will fly over everything else so it is kind of useful to uh, to have those and as you can see still most of them getting through uh, the middle, some of them actually skirted through the sides, especially in the bottom part. And I lost a few lives there. So that's quite all right though. And I really still don't know which letter goes with which tower. So, but yeah, you can easily remember that. Um, anyhow, we have the slow now, and I think I should have kept it at this because the, the slow or rather the freeze is very, very effective against uh, large groups. Of course, the flamethrower does its thing as well, but I think the freeze is still the best way to go. 
because the freeze will actually just stop them cold in uh, literally in uh, the tower range and if you have three towers shooting at them you don't really need extra damage from um, yeah from your special turret and yeah losing no lives there still to those small guys i thought i would lose some more lives to those small guys anyway uh, we're going to add some more sandbags just to make sure that um, uh, yeah, that no nothing gets through. None of the small ones get through. And as you can see, losing two of the marines there, make sure you have the marines up at all times, because without it, you are lost. And there you see it, they are going for those uh, for those sandbags. Lost another 10 lives there, but it is quite all right. Um, I'm not really too worried about it. I can rebuild the sandbags and it's not really a problem at all. So um, yeah, I do need to upgrade a little bit more because I don't really have enough and um, yeah, with me not really having enough to kill everything, well, instantly, uh, I might actually lose some of the sandbags or some of the whatever is there. So some of the towers, some of the little guys, the marine guys, but all in all, yeah, it's pretty easy to, to take down everything. So um, yeah, it keeps popping up that annoying thing. It's so annoying. I did buy it by the way, by now, because you will see that after this playthrough, there is another playthrough of the next level, which is also a very easy one. Because we're going to do exactly the same strategy there. And um, yeah, you will see that it is quite easy to, uh, well, to get the win on both of them. Uh, yeah, lost two Marines once again. So I am going to build some more Marines here in a moment. Because, as I said, once you lose those, you're pretty much toast. Because the, yeah, the towers will no longer get to focus the same guys, and they will just split. So I lost another five lives there. Things just getting straight through, and everything, as you can see now, depending on uh, well, this uh, now it gets split because the guys in the middle they died. And that is of course no good. Uh, I forgot to start the wave here, but that's quite all right. A little bit of uh, of gold lost, but well, pff, who cares, right? I have enough. So we're going to get some rocket turrets out or whatever these are called. They're AOE damage, so they do damage to multiple opponents or to a whole area of opponents. And that is excellent. As you can see, you can just build whatever you want. Uh, because all of the towers are really strong as long as you upgrade them enough they just all have their preferences so either they're like single target uh, nukers or they're uh, well you have the freeze tower you have the flamethrower which of course does extra damage and such and then you have the aoe damage with uh, which is um, damage to multiple opponents which is also very good so here we're going to get some beefier marines out making sure that they uh, they heal and such it's uh, it's really useful especially in the later stages where they actually take quite a lot of damage it is quite useful to have that so i lost uh, a few of the marines but most of them still alive but yeah there you can see the small ones really not a problem anymore no matter how many there are uh, there are just plenty of things to deal with that and we're going to add one more single target damage okay I'm going to go for a single target damage one obviously upgrading as far as possible and we're going to get one in the bottom as well I try to keep it uh, a little bit symmetrical just so uh, that it doesn't matter whether they're coming from the top or from the bottom part of this uh, this map and yeah it would be nice to have another freeze tower out uh, of course i um i don't know which this is the freeze tower i think yeah i am going to over upgrade this but well it should be all, all right the freeze tower however is very very useful so keep that in mind that it may actually be better than what we're doing here because uh, well the freeze tower actually will get more done than uh, than this acid tower Although the Acid Tower is great splash damage, it does a lot of damage to things around it or around the initial hit, but it may not actually be the best option. So still just going, everyone's just going for that middle part and that is exactly our strategy. 
my strategy is just based on yeah what I think is not really a bug but it is quite important so we're going to use up all of our uh, things that we got during this uh, this playthrough from all of the yeah all of the waves uh, just going to throw some uh, some random crap at him and he is going to die eventually there you go you can't take them with you anyway so might as well use them and there you go 200 extra which means that we can now afford the last level on that uh, that first tower the uh, vicar's um, something thingy anyway we're going to go for cleanup on aisle 13 because we were only 11 minutes in and this should still be a pretty easy one because it's still a normal so who cares anyhow uh, same strategy here as you can see we have three lanes uh, yeah we have the exit on the right side those are a lot of lanes actually five but in the middle we only have three lanes so we're going to focus on that middle part kind of draw them in with uh, one of the marines and hopefully shoot all of them with uh, yeah with these guys uh, so with the turrets the marines themselves also shoot so keep that in mind you don't actually have to do anything fancy to actually make this work and that's where we, yeah plant it there we go good boy so um yeah because of the attraction that these marines have you only have to defend the middle part and better yet you only have to defend this marine so not even the bottom of the middle um yeah it's all pretty easy actually so we're going to build another one over here and build some marines extra all in all it's uh, it's relatively easy to do it is not a real problem however we are going to get into some uh, some actual trouble so not as easy as uh, as it looks right now because um well some of the waves will just skirt past the edges and the edges are of course completely undefended you can defend them by just pu putting some sandbags in there and eventually the range of the towers will be good enough to actually defend the edges as well but you do need some sandbags in there and yeah i kind of forgot about that so <laughs> until later on eventually i do realize it of course when uh, when things are getting true so we're getting another 600 there which means a free upgrade which is excellent and we're going to just uh well keep up uh, keep going with those waves wave after wave will be uh, uh, yeah starting immediately because why not I mean there's no reason not to and it is all about the upgrades so you need to upgrade those towers as soon and as far as possible and obviously well you want to do that uh, at the moment you get the money because there's no reason to wait unless you're uh, waiting for a bigger upgrade on something but yeah that's hardly ever worth it so just going for the range upgrades here maybe should have done that a little bit easier uh, earlier and now i just noticed that yeah you do start with 50 lives in the beginning yeah these guys also getting uh, drawn in to those marines and it is very easy to take them down so the drop comes in we are going to get some cryo grenades going cryo grenades of course just a freeze and a little bit of damage i guess they do uh, quite a lot of damage to that end boss so that's why <laughs> when I normally use them because I don't really need them anywhere else although yeah in this case I am going to use them on other targets as well but you will see that um, I'm gonna getting into panic mode that's why it's so ah it's kind of sucky that I don't have the live playthrough anymore but yeah I had the video still and I was like yeah well the video at least shows how crappy I played it so at least I can tell you about what my uh, my process was here you can see how they're trying to get through the bottom part of the map and this is when I realized well maybe I should get some sandbags in there but apparently not yet building them yeah I want to get the 3500 upgrade and obviously it would have been better to get the sandbags out first but as you can see all of the smaller ones they go straight for the middle and I don't know when the ghosts are coming, so, uh, or the, yeah, I, I know no, they're not called ghosts. Yeah, bite them. Yes, there you go. Good boy. So now we have the final upgrade on that. 
So that's uh, on the Vickers turret or whatever it's called. And it is, uh, it, it will actually work out that way. I'm going to actually buy it as well. It is really expensive though. And that will, well, it, it will kind of cost a lot of money, but it will be worth it because it is a great tower and it does a lot of damage. So all in all, that's excellent. Another 600, which is excellent because then we can upgrade that one. And now we can upgrade the special turret as well. So we have a freeze now in the middle and um, yeah, that will just cause everything to just stop, which is excellent. That's exactly the way we want that. I think I should have just kept it at a freeze because the freeze is so awesome. Yeah, I actually like it that you have, you have the choice to go for upgrades, but they're still useful even uh, when they're not fully upgraded. But still going for turrets. Apparently I didn't realize that early on that I needed sandbags. I thought that was really early on actually. But well, apparently not. So we are going to lose one of the freeze towers, but that's quite all right. And here a large group of, uh, of just crap coming up, coming at me. But it seems that um, yeah, everything gets wiped out well before it, uh, it gets to me. And we are going to buy the flame turret, I think. Yeah, that's probably what I did. Um, yeah, I can't afford those. I wanted to buy some more Marines because yeah, if they get, uh, if they get killed, then you are in trouble. And wow, just surviving there. And yeah, it would be good to build some more here. <laughs> Obviously I don't have any tanky upgrades on those Marines. So you do need to take care of that. You need to build them a little bit tankier so that they can actually survive the onslaught at least a little bit, because it's kind of crappy if they don't. And now you can see around the edges, especially in the bottom, they're just walking around it. They're just walking past. And uh, this guy is going to leak as well. Yeah, as you can see, just quite a few lives lost, 10 lives total. And on a total of 50, that is quite a lot. So getting the 600 gold from the last drop, which has been there for the entire time. And getting cryo grenades or oh, mines. Okay, cool. Mines are cool. They're pretty useful. And yeah, we are going to uh, upgrade those, uh, those side turrets now. And still no sandbags. Wow, you really need to do that a lot earlier than I did. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, Tanky Marine now in the front, and he is going to make sure that uh, that he doesn't die, at least not too easily. More Tanky guys. It doesn't really matter if you uh, if you lose one or two of them, because well, as you can see, I have eight, so and uh, one is enough to uh, to keep everyone attracted to that middle part, and by this time it doesn't really matter anyway. So once again, through the bottom part, we lose quite a few lives. Six lives lost once again. And there you go, finally getting smart and actually getting the sandbags out. Should of course just put like a million sandbags over there because it's not like I need the money for anything else. And they're cheap, they're only 15. I'm not upgrading them, so it's really just 15 each and compared to the 25,000 that it costs to get my final upgrade on my tower. Yeah, it's not going to really matter. Dude, in the top left, there's another crate of weapons. Go get it. Freaking noob doesn't even see it. So we're going for the Thundercat Giga Shot here. <laughs> awesome, awesome name. It is uh, completely unnecessarily uh, complex, but well, whatever. Almost getting there. Wave 37, by the way, out of 40. So we need to get close to it because otherwise we're not going to be able to afford it. Bottom part is going to get taken down, but fortunately they are still drawn to that um, to that middle. And as you can you could see, I uh, was using some of the grenades on them, but uh, yeah, it wasn't necessary. They got taken down anyway. And oh no, he's going to get out. Yeah, I didn't want to spend grenades on it. Obviously, I could have just nuked it with a grenade. But yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. So there's the Giga Shot 
multi-target thunder dome thingy tower. And yeah, that is just, uh, that's just enough. I mean, who cares for the rest? There's the big guy. The big guy is going to get nuked with some, uh, with some mines. So this is the last wave for me. And we're going to freeze him once he's in tower range. There you go. Freeze, 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 and you die. So really easy game here. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, the harder levels. So uh, I am going to, so yeah, we finally have the, the money to upgrade now. Well, no, I already upgraded one. Now I have 300, so I can't upgrade anymore. Never mind. Um, I'm looking forward to kind of the, the next levels where I, um, uh, first I'm going to do Outbreak Mansion, but after that I'm going to go back to the first one and go to whatever the second level is called, like hard or something like that, or medium. I'm going to do that, try to, uh, to get some, uh, some killing going with that, because now that I actually figured out how to play this game a little bit, yeah, I do like it. It's not, it's not great, but hey, it's a game and it's enjoyable enough. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Gigi.